just have to ask me in. You don't have to think about it. What do you want? Just ask me in. It won't take me. Since its public debut in the early 1990s, the internet has become a breeding ground for conspiracy and urban legend. There are now literally thousands of podcasts, chat rooms, and message boards dedicated to cryptozoological, ufological, and paranormal phenomenon. Whereas some of the individuals behind these broadcasts and websites are committed to good investigative journalism and fact-finding, most of them simply proliferate wild speculations, baseless rumors, unverifiable testimonies, and deliberate hoaxes. However, within the morass of misinformation, disinformation, and just plain bad information, there is a repository of truth. Among the most popular of urban legends propagated on the internet is the alleged phenomenon of black-eyed kids, sometimes referred to as black-eyed children, or Bex for short. According to the legend, these bizarre and sinister children, usually between the ages of 6 and 16, sometimes come knocking on the doors of people's homes or on the windows of their cars, entreating entry. To the horror of the person encountering them, the eyes of these kids are completely black with no discernible sclera, iris, or pupil. The origin of this internet sensation is difficult to pinpoint, but most researchers trace it back to the late 1990s when, blo when blogger Brian Bethel wrote about an alarming encounter he had with black-eyed kids in 1996. There was a knock on my driver's side window. Two young boys, somewhere between 9 and 12 years old and dressed in hooded pullovers, stood outside. I cracked the window a bit, anticipating a spiel for money, but I was immediately gripped by an incomprehensible, soul-racking fear. I had no idea why. A conversation ensued between one boy, a somewhat suave, oil-skinned, curly-headed young man, and myself. The other, a red-headed, pale-skinned, freckled young man, stayed in the background. The spokesman, as I've come to think of him, told me that he and his companion needed a ride. Plausible enough, but all throughout this exchange, the irrational fear continued and grew. I had no reason to be frightened of these two boys, but I was, terribly. All the while, the spokesman uttered assurances. It wouldn't take long. They were just two little kids. They didn't have a gun or anything. The last part was a bit unnerving. In the short time I had broken the gaze of the spokesman, something had changed, and my mind exploded in a vortex of all-consuming terror. Both boys stared at me with coal-black eyes, soulless orbs like two great swaths of starless night. I full on freaked out inside while trying to appear completely sane and calm. I made whatever excuses came to mind, all of them designed to get me the hell out of there. I wrapped my hand around the gear shift, threw the car into reverse, and began to roll up the window, apologizing all the while. My fear must have been evident. The boy in the back wore a look of confusion. The spokesman banged sharply on the window as I rolled it up. His words, full of anger, echo in my mind even today. We can't come in unless you tell us it's okay. Let us in. I drove out of the parking lot in blind fear. I stole a quick look in my rearview mirror before peeling out into the night. The boys were gone. Even if they had run, I don't believe there was any place they could have hidden from view that quickly. This story of Brian Bethel's soon circulated through paranormal forums and message boards. It wasn't long before thousands of new accounts detailing similar encounters with so-called black-eyed kids began to pour in from all over the globe. 
Whether contrived or real, the phenomenon was worldwide and burgeoning. In fact, there have been more reports of encounters with black-eyed kids in recent years than ever before, though admittedly there has also been more media coverage of the phenomenon than ever before, including a Kickstarter-funded horror film produced in 2012 entitled Black-Eyed Kids. It must also be noted that the phenomenon is easily hoaxed. The trademark black eyes of the black-eyed kids can be reproduced with full eye contact lenses, which are readily available on the web. There are even tutorials on YouTube that demonstrate how to properly insert them. Undoubtedly, at this point in time, and due to integration into popular culture, many black-eyed kids hoaxes are being perpetrated by mischievous teenagers. However, notwithstanding the hoaxes, the corroborating similarities in black-eyed kids' encounters from all over the world, sometimes involving multiple eyewitnesses, and the paranormal activity often associated with them, such as their disappearing into thin air, cannot be whimsically dismissed. Multitudes of people have been severely traumatized from exposure to this phenomenon. An encounter with black-eyed kids often unfolds in the following manner. You hear a knocking at your door. An inexplicable sense of foreboding overtakes you. You answer the door and are surprised to find two children standing there with their heads bowed. Oddly, they are dressed in drab, ill-fitting clothing. They ask for permission to enter your home in order to use the bathroom or telephone and insist that it won't take long. Their voices are monotone and robotic, and they seem to be reciting a practiced dialogue. During the course of the dialogue, one of them lifts their head, and to your utter horror, you notice that their eyes are completely black, and that their skin has a chalky or pasty appearance, as if it were artificial. Terror consumes you. In panic, you contrive an excuse and slam the door shut. The children disappear from your doorstep, but you are left feeling traumatized and violated. Aside from the details presented in this general scenario, people who encounter black-eyed kids often report a foul odor that lingers in the atmosphere even after the children are gone. Sometimes people feel that they are being controlled or manipulated when they look into the black void of the children's eyes. Oftentimes, after an encounter, especially if the children were granted entry into a person's home or vehicle, strange physical ailments afflict the person's body and poltergeist activity begins occurring in the person's home. The fact that the legend of black-eyed kids seems to have been born on the internet dissuades many skeptics from giving it any credence. However, unbeknownst to casual observers, strange children with black eyes were being reported long before the internet was ever invented. Since the 1940s, in post-World War II America, Peculiar accounts of alien abductions have been surfacing with increasing frequency. Some of the abduction stories included encounters with human-alien hybrid children, children who were described in many cases as having pasty or chalky artificial-like skin and large black eyes. Additionally, these children were often described as having very monotone voices and exuding a foul odor. The Black Eyed Kids phenomenon may have been popularized and proliferated on the internet, but it was certainly not conceived in cyberspace. The truth is that people have been encountering black eyed children for decades, long before the media had any interest in their stories. We cannot, therefore, logically attribute black eyed kids to pop culture sensationalism. Either they really exist, or millions of unassociated people all around the world, many with no prior knowledge of the phenomenon, have somehow been suffering from the same mass psychosis. 
The topic of this analysis was prompted by the testimony of a good friend of mine working with the Oglagla Lakota people living on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. Recently, my friend informed me of an urgent call he received from one of the families living on the reservation. They were traumatized because strange children with completely pitch black eyes and chalky skin, speaking in chilling, monotone voices, were showing up on their property and asking to be let in to their house. Neither my friend nor the family on the reservation had ever heard of black-eyed kids. It is apparent to me that this phenomenon is not only tangible and terrifyingly real, but also escalating. It is my opinion that these black-eyed kids are related to the hybrid children that are often encountered during alien abductions. The fact that the ostensible directive of these entities is to be willingly invited into one's home is indicative of some kind of demonic subterfuge, possibly relating to alien abductions. Whatever the case, it is my contention that this kind of paranormal intrusion is only going to increase as the days grow darker. Yeah.